And even if you were saving $10,000 a month, a month, which is highly unlikely for somebody that's 29 years old, but we'll just use it as an example. $10,000 a month and you're just piling money into something that's, you know, it seems great. You saw it on Reddit, for example. They love it on Reddit. Well, $10,000 a month could disappear in a second on you. And even if you did that for several years, bouncing company to company, you well, know, probably don't have the money that you would have had had you just stuck with that index fund. Now, we can just as easily get you into something that's probably going to do something similar, maybe a little bit less, but we're going to keep you headed in the right direction, keep you saving, and let you transition naturally from the saver to the investor. Because a lot of times, um, and I'm sure we're all kind of guilty of it too, is we feel like we're investors, but when you're young, you're not an investor yet. You're a saver. My kind of definition of that, to be honest, is until your portfolio can return you a number that's more than you could put in on a particular year, you're not an investor. That's my take on it. I think that's a fair definition. Yeah. And I, I, you know, to go back to what you were saying, it takes a lot of discipline to not only behaviorally, like you're saying, to save this money the way that you should, it takes a lot of discipline to stick to a plan that's going good, but not going as great as you're seeing other plans go. Exactly. And that's part of our responsibility is to hopefully contextualize what you're doing and what the actual objective is. Because if the objective is, I want everything all the time, eventually you're going to get yourself to dangerous territory. There's just no way of doing that. I mean, you're, you're playing a game that most individual investors are not designed to play. We have that conversation. How do you beat a hedge fund? Well, the hedge fund isn't playing the game we're playing. We're playing longevity. Scott, once again, mentions Warren Buffett. I mean, he didn't make most of his money till his 60s. Why? Because he was old. <laughs> and, he, and he waited. And he, you know, it, there's really nothing that exciting about his investment choices. Granted, a lot of money went into them. That part's right. 